Hey guys, 2018 Fireballs here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing off my alt account team, my second team, Houston Astros 2020 Fireballs team. Now, unlike the other video, instead of showcasing um, everything, including special training, and uh, not special training, but the um, mentor skills and the rank training, I'm not going to be doing that because this is a free-to-play team and I really haven't developed those things yet. So just for this video, I'm going to be showing off all the players, their training, and their skills, and whatever else I'm working with on the um, reserves. So yeah, let's get right into it. So we'll start off with the starting lineup. Now batting first, I have a live 2021 Carlos Correa. I got this card from the All-Star event just a month ago, so I picked him as my team card. Um, right now I'm running with a... Uh, train like this 11 to power 10 to I and 14 to speed and field but I'm okay with that for now since he's a live card so I really don't know what the outcome of him is going to be at the end of the season he did go down and then back up again in these last two updates so that was nice to see um, right now I'm rolling with the skills charisma and batting machine on him now batting second in my lineup I have this Alex Bregman 2018 signature card I was able to pull this card from a regular um, signature pack over a year ago. I was very happy to get this card. Uh, since then, I have grade increased him, trained him up, and upgraded him to Black Diamond with full special training. His training, as you can see, um, goes to I and then to Power, and then the last special training goes to Speed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get um, the last special training to go to Contact. Um, I didn't have enough coins back in the time when I was training him, but for now this works really well for him. Um, his base stats for contact are high already anyway, so um, his high base stats make up for the lack of special training. Um, good GI, 69 GI, 71 base, and the skills I'm working with now are Spotlight and Batting Machine. I decided to take Spotlight to level 8, and right now in my skill storage I'm running with these skills. I originally changed these so I could get a black diamond skill with premium skill change tickets, but I was able to roll this set. I'm not planning on keeping it, but it's a really nice set. Um, so I want to test it out first, possibly, um, but eventually I'll change one or the other to um, black diamond skills with a premium skill change ticket. Uh, it'll eventually happen once I get um, those resources. Now batting third in my lineup, I have a 2018 Jose Altuve. Um, this is not his best year. His best year is his 2017 card. Um, I have a pretty atrocious train on him right now. I didn't really have enough coins when I started developing him. I have this. I've had this card since um, I pretty much originally first got the team. One of my first cards as a diamond. Um, right now, I plan on um, holding off on retraining him. Um, trying to focus more on special training for other cards and building my team set deck to diamond set deck um, level S but for now this is what I'm working with and hopefully I can get his better card in the future or even get lucky as to get a signature pack now batting fourth I have uh, Marvin Gonzalez 2018 this card I believe was my first ever diamond Houston Astros card that I pulled from a team select pack so he's one of my first ever um, team cards. Um, right now I'm running with this train, it's pretty bad as well, but I was just focused on getting him to level 20, uh, 66 base, and a 72 grade increase. <clears throat> Excuse me. Slugger Instinct and Prediction are the skills I'm working with right now, so possibly might be a long-term project. I know he has a signature year in 2015, I believe, so if I do get that card, I'll definitely replace him, but for now, I'm um, working with this. Batting 5th in the lineup, I have Jake Marisnik 2017. He's also maxed out at level 20 out of 20. I have this train on him, a pretty balanced out train. Not the best at all, really. Um, but I love that high power that he has in his base stats, and his contact's okay. Uh, everything else is pretty bad, but since the Astros have a lot of good outfielders like Michael Brantley, um, I'll probably end up replacing him later on in the game. For the skills, I have Professional and Batting Machine, and when he has a Professional skill, his power goes up to 122, so I really like that when that happens. Uh, other than that, Batting Machine is also decent as well. Um, 
but like I said, he's probably going to get replaced in the future, but for now he works really well. Betting 6th, I have Jordan Alvarez, 2019. A uh, very good card with the distribution that he gets. Uh, low fielding and low speed, so all of his distribution really goes to the left side. Um, his train on him I have right now is very mediocre. I plan on retraining him once I get him to level 20. Only 12 out of 12 right now since he doesn't have that many cards in the game. It's been kind of hard to find upgrade material for him. His skills that I'm working with are batting machine, heavy hitter prediction. Uh, these skills are doing very well for me right now uh, with heavy hitter increasing the slugging percentage with the power he has it works out really well for him and then batting machine on top of that he hits more accurately and the prediction is a added bonus so a really good card overall for me batting seventh i have a jason castro 2013 card this is probably the best um houston astros catcher card besides evan gaddis and robinson chirinos unfortunately those two cards that i mentioned the latter ones uh, Chirinos and Gaddis are no longer in the game, so Castro is really the only Astros catcher card that is usable or very good in the sense of hitting stats. But 67 base, 67 GI, his train go uh, goes mostly to the left side. Uh, low power, but I do like the high eye and the high contact, and only 8 to the right side is very very good for a catcher like him. Um, his skills that I roll are very good as well. Charisma and Slugger Instinct are top tier skills, and Heavy Hitter makes it even better with increased slugging, uh, which Slugger Instinct already does. So, a very good card that I plan on keeping long term. I believe they added a signature card for his 2013 year, uh, the same year that I have here, but very unlikely that I pull it since this is a free to play team. But this card is definitely staying on my team for a while. At, <clears throat> excuse me, batting 8th, I have Colin Moran, 2017. Uh, not the best Houston Astro card at all. He's a 60 base with a 65 GI. His train is pretty scattered, a lot going to speed. Not really looking to make this card a long-term project, but I do plan on keeping him for a while since I do have these skills on him, Spotlight and Charisma. Very, very top-tier skills on a very bad card, unfortunately. But for now, he works really well for me. Um, hitting home runs and especially in PvP and ranked, he performs exceptionally well. Last in my lineup, I have Yuli Guriel 2019 as a gold card. I just finished getting this card leveled up to 20 out of 20 as a silver card, so I decided to grade increase him to gold. The train I got on him was um, a very good train, even though he has a little bit high on the feet, uh, fielding and the speed. I was able to get the left side pretty good. Um, his skills in the back aren't good at all, all bronze skills, but as of now, I plan on keeping him in the lineup since he's the re he's really the only first baseman that the Astros have, besides uh, a prime Morgan Ensberg, or um, I'm not really sure what other good first basemen are out there for the Astros, but this card um, does well for me as a ninth man, but hopefully I can replace him in the future with a diamond, uh, preferably his, di his diamond uh, in the same year. Moving on to my bench, I have a George Springer 2016. This card I had in the lineup for quite a while, actually. Um, I ended up replacing him, I believe it was uh, with Alvarez, but he worked pretty well for me for a while. Um, very scattered train, uh, only a gold card, so not much I can really do with him. I was able to get him to 20 out of 20. Skills came with uh, going for first pitch, professional, and fielding specialist. Uh, with a professional skill, his power and contact and eye were all over um, 110. Excuse me, so that was nice, but for now, I plan on keeping him on the bench until I can replace him with a diamond to increase my set deck. Next, I have this Dan, uh, Doug Raider. Uh, the only gold vintage card I have on this team right now. Um, he has good hitting stats as his base stats, but since he's a gold, not very much used to me. He's kind of sat on the bench the whole time I've had him, um, just to help the set deck effect. But he'll probably get eventually. He'll probably um, get replaced very soon once I get a better um, diamond card to increase my set deck. Next, I have Kyle Tucker, twenty nineteen. Not a long-term project for me at all. He has a terrible base overall and a terrible grade increase. Right now, just a pinch runner. Um, I don't use him very often since I don't play manually. So just using him for my set deck effect. 
and he's definitely going to get replaced in the future once I get a better card. Next, Tony Kemp, more of the same, uh, very bad card, 57 base, even worse than Tucker, 64 base. His train is very similar to Carlos Correa's that I have, but since he's such a bad card, I don't plan on keeping him for a while. I was able to get a lot of upgrades on him, though. Um, he does have better years, like in 2018, and I believe his 2019 card with the Astros. But, actually, is his 2019 card with the Astros? I'm not sure. But, uh, besides the point, he will be a very um, temporary piece in my lineup on the bench. Uh, and hopefully we'll get replaced um, pretty soon with a better uh, card. Uh, last on my bench, I have Miles Straw. Another bad card. I don't really understand the distribution of his base stats. It's really weird. This might be one of the few cards that has high speed and high fielding, but his batting stats are really bad. Um, for now, working with him as a pinch runner, he has a good rate increase. A 65 base would look good on paper, but with the distribution, it's not really a good card. So for now, he sits on my bench, and hopefully I can replace him like my other two diamonds that I have on the bench. Now, moving on to my starting rotation. This Mike Scott that I have is the first ever Houston Astros card that I pulled for this team, and this card was the main reason why I decided to go Houston Astros. Um, back in 2019, two years ago, almost two years ago, there was the anniversary event where they let you choose uh, choose a card from a certain diamond pack. I can't remember exactly which kind of card it was or what diamond pack it was, but it was a team selected pack of some sort and I was lucky enough to pull this card after multiple retries. Um, I was able to roll finesse pitcher and untouch untouchable on him, even though his train indicates that he has a dominant pitcher training. I'll probably expand his skill storage and train for dominant or sorry skill for dominant pitcher. But for now, he is my ace on the team, and with a 76 base, he is one of the best cards in the game. So I was very happy to get this to start off my Houston team. Second in my starting rotation, I have Scott Casimir 2015. A very rare card in the game, considering he hasn't been in the league since 2016. So his only years, I believe, are 2014, 15, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then here in 2021 with the Giants. He did get released, though, so I don't think he's going to be in the game for much longer. But I was lucky enough to pull him from a Team Selective pack uh, from Clubcraft. He has a very good base, 71 base, and the train I got on him is going pretty well so far, 9 to velocity and 5 to location with 7 going to each fastball and break. The skills I rolled on him were really good as well. I have cleaning up your mess, put away pitch, and untouchable. So uh, definitely a long-term project for me right now, and I'm glad I was able to pull this card before they eventually remove him from the game. Uh, I personally like getting rare cards like this that aren't in the game anymore just because it makes me, um, I don't know, feel special, I guess. <laughs> Third in my rotation, I have Vince Velasquez, 2015. Not the best Houston starter, so he may get replaced soon. I have had this card for a long time, though. One of my first cards in the game. A perfect grade increase, and his training is okay, but susceptible to retrain, or probably, since I'm replacing him, I might not bother retraining him at all. His base stats are okay. Um, not the best, but... His skills work really well for the type of card that he is with the set, um, the type of base stats he has in Eater, Giant Crusher, and Winning Streak. So he does really well with those. Um, it's sustainable, but not until I eventually get a better card to replace him. Next, fourth in my rotation, I have Jacob deGrom 2020. This card I got from a player selective diamond pack um, a couple months ago. And in the shuffle that I had, I had a choice between Jacob deGrom, this card, or Lance McCullers Jr. And I just couldn't pass this card up. This card is a beast. 80 location, 81 velocity, 75 fastball. This card is amazing. The train on him I have right now is very good. A lot to location and fastball. Very low stamina. And almost a perfect grade increase. The skills I'm running with him right now... Our winning streak finesse pitcher control artist, not the best, but I do plan on keeping him for a while, and once I do get more skill changes, I will change him in the future. 
But yeah, DeGrom 2020 is definitely a long-term project for me as my 25th man on the team. And I can't wait to see how he goes as I continue to upgrade him and skill change him. Now, last in my starting rotation, I have Zach Grinky 2019. This card also came from a Clubcraft Team Select pack. Right now, level 12 out of 12. And his base stats are really good. 72 base. And his train is decent. I'll plan on eventually retraining him in the future. But one of the better Houston Astros cards. And with a perfect GI, uh, GI if I do say so myself. And I rolled Dominant Pitcher, Untouchable, Setup Man. So a very good skill set for a very good card. I'll probably re... I'll definitely retrain for Dominant Pitcher eventually, but yeah, that rounds off the rotation. Moving on to the bullpen, first off I have Chris Davinsky as my setup man. Now, the main reason he's my main setup man is, as you just saw, I have triple gold skills. Now, with triple gold skills, these are all maxable to level 7 when I finish special training. So right now, working on level 3 special training with him. His 2019 card is in his best year. But since I have the triple gold skills, he works really well as a setup man. His train I got on him without any um, uh, amp tickets or anything, I was able to get high location and high velocity. So I love that. Low stamina and fastball and break aren't too shabby as well. So definitely keeping this card for a long time until I get a signature of him, which is very rare, or until I pull his 2016, or sorry, 2017 card, which is much better. But it's going to be hard to beat with the skills that he has right now. Even though they're not the top tier end game skills, these skills will do very well as triple gold. And once I get special training done, they'll be triple diamond. Now I have Will Harris 2019, uh, level 20 out of 20 gold card, uh, one of my early cards as well. Not going to be a long term project for me. I've had this card for a long time, but as you can see, training on stamina is high, velocity is high location as high as well but i hope to replace him in the future he works with good as a second setup man with the warmed up set effect or the skill effect so for the one batter he faces at the beginning he's really good um he has high velocity and that's another main reason why i have him as a setup man but looking to replace him for um a better diamond card in the future hopefully because i really want to get that diamond s set deck and he's worked really well for me but looking forward to replacing him in the future. Third in the bullpen, I have Joe Smith 2020, another rare card that nobody really has since he was taken out of the game after the um, early 2020, uh, 2020 updates after the whole thing started. Didn't play any games, but working with a 62 base, a really bad card, really bad GI. Uh, the only reason I really have him in is because he has an okay train, and the skills that I rolled on him were pretty good as well. Last boss, put away pitch and ace. Um, again, like my Will Harris, I hope to replace him in the future. But more uh, for the reasons of um, him not having a really good overall and the GI. So looking forward to replacing him as well. Fourth in the relief or setup roll. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, not setup roll. What am I saying? Middle relief roll. I have Tony Sip 2015, he is not in the game anymore, uh, only level 10 out of 10, so not really able to upgrade him. His training is okay, high stamina, but he used to be my original setup man with a last boss skill. I decided to skill change him and he rolled Fixer Untouchable Giant Crusher. So these skills work out really well as a middle relief uh, skill set. Fixer will activate when he gets in and Untouchable and Giant Crusher uh, give him that extra advantage over players that are higher overall than him so really good setup man uh, in the middle relief role for me last in my long relief role i have oliver perez 2015 i was also happy to get this card because he's probably going to retire soon so he's going to be out of the game maybe within the next year or two i'm not sure how long he'll stick around but he is getting old anyways uh the train on him is really good uh, more of a finesse pitcher train eight to location and seven to break still at level 10 out of 10 but uh, we'll see where he goes. He's in long relief right now, so I don't plan on doing too much with him. Uh, I actually only got this card just last week, so he's a work in progress. But again, a low base like a lot of the other relievers that I have, so don't really want to touch him right now. 
unless I end up sticking with him or unless I don't end up pulling any good cards after. Um, I hope not, but right now he's just going to be sitting in a long relief roll. Last in the bullpen with a closer, um, closer roll, I have Josh James 2019. Now, this card has worked really well for me in the closer roll, 65 base. Um, he is no longer in the game right now, I believe. He may be injured or suspended, not sure which one, but I was lucky enough to get him to 20 out of 20 before that happened. I upgraded him from silver to gold with a great increase. Uh, 17 to velocity, 13 to break, and 12 to location. I kind of wish the location and the break were switched, but nonetheless, he has very high location, and the velocity is good as well. And the only reason I have him in the closer role right now is because of the winning streak skill, uh, which boosts his velocity and location. So he does get hit hard every once in a while, but right now I have really no better um, person to put in that role. Maybe Davinsky, but with winning streak, I feel confident that this card works really well. And that rounds off the rotation, lineup, and bullpen. Now, I'm only going to show a couple cards on the bench in my pitcher's reserves. Um, I don't have anything in my batter's reserves, but um, these are the three diamond pitchers that I have on the reserve list. So I have Wade Miley, 2019. He doesn't make the cut with the skills that he has, last boss and winning streak, and then the train he has is pretty good, but his velocity is lower than most of the stars that I have, and... I would replace him with Vince Velasquez, but since Velasquez has um, gold skills that I see work really well in ranked, I don't plan on replacing him. So right now, Wade Miley is going to be a work in progress. I may or may not replace him with possibly Casimir or um, Miley, but Casimir already has a higher overall. And like I said, um, sorry, did I say Miley? I meant Velasquez, but Velasquez, he has good skills like I said so Miley is just going to be sitting on the bench last boss winning streak's okay but not enough to outdo the other two starters that I think could replace next I have this Anthony Bass um terrible card I had him in my long relief roll but it just didn't make the cut and I'll let this card speak for itself it's pretty terrible um not sure how to pronounce this guy's name uh Bilac Sorry if I butchered that, but 61 base, 71 GI, training's okay, high stamina, not a really good card either. If at all I do use these cards that are in my reserves, I would use them for the set deck effect, um, mainly the relievers since I have two gold relievers, but since I only have five gold spots, I'm just waiting to get more batter diamonds so I can replace them on the bench. So for now, um, that's pretty much everything, um, all the skills and what I'm working with. So if you guys have any suggestions or advice on what I should do with the cards, skills, training, um, as I pointed out to you with all the cards, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.